Ministers Sushma Swaraj and Nirmala Sitaraman will not be flying to Washington next week after the US postpones the 2 plus 2 dialogue for the third time. Is this in response to the retaliatory trade tariffs India imposed? Stay clean, be creative, go for a walk are just some of the Health Ministry's suggestions on how to cope with depression. Outraged doctors' right to protest say don't undermine the role of medical intervention. Also ahead, why absconding accused billionaire Mehul Choksi thinks he could become a victim of mob lynching. It's Friday, June 29th. What does Harley Davidson have to do with India-US relations? Well, US President Donald Trump's meltdown over issues concerning the iconic motorcycles, manufacturing and tariffs will serve well to explain the US-India trade feud you would have likely read about in the headlines. Plus, it helped me get your attention. Okay, I'll circle back to Harley. First, let's get you the latest. Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj and Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman were scheduled to be in Washington next week for a high-level dialogue with their American counterparts under the 2 plus 2 mechanism. What's 2 plus 2? This high-level dialogue mechanism was evolved to keep the defence and strategic relationship in focus and may be insulated from trade differences between India and the US. So what happened? The United States postponed the scheduled meeting without assigning any reasons. This for the third time in six months. Leading to speculation that the meeting has been postponed because of retaliatory trade tariffs imposed by India after the US imposed its own. How exactly did that play out? Last week, India announced it was raising import duties on a number of goods from the United States, including apples, almonds and phosphoric acid. India is the world's largest buyer of U.S. almonds and will collect $116 million by imposing a 20% additional duty on U.S. exports. This is part of the retaliatory tariffs after the Trump administration imposed a 25% steel tariff and a 10% aluminium tariff on Indian imports, as also on imports from EU and the U.S.'s other trading partners. Has India imposed additional tariffs on Harleys? Actually not, but US President Donald Trump wrongly called out India for what he said was 100% tariffs on Harleys. India had in fact brought down the duties to 50% earlier this year. Trump has made repeated mentions of import tariffs on the high-end motorcycles, citing it as an example of why these trade tariffs are unfair in the United States. And now the US President is railing against the company he was batting for. Here's why. Harley-Davidson has announced it will be shifting its manufacturing out of the United States because of increased costs after the European Union imposed retaliatory tariffs on Harley. EU is Harley's second biggest market. Harley has overseas manufacturing sites in India, Brazil and Australia. Trump warned the iconic American company to stay in America, saying, we won't forget. Imagine this, a person suffering from clinical depression is told, hey, why don't you try staying clean? Maybe consider being creative, huh? Take a walk, perhaps? This isn't some anodyne advice given by a well-meaning friend who well doesn't know better. This is official communication from the Ministry of Health entitled, To Cope with Depression, Do the Following. The poster has drawn protests from doctors and psychologists who say it undermines the role of medical intervention and talk therapy for treating the condition. Depression is a cognitive dysfunction that affects a person's ability, thinking perception, as well as the ability to acquire, understand and respond to information. It's often caused by chemical imbalances in the brain and a reduction of certain neurotransmitters. Mental health professionals have pointed out the glaring gap in the ministry's advice, seeking diagnosis and counselling from a mental health professional. Dr. Vinay Kumar, Honorary General Secretary of the Indian Psychiatric Society, says, Depression is a disease which needs treatment and the government has turned it into some behavioural problem, 
this message from the government is like telling a person with diabetes to walk and not take medicines Kumar and his colleagues from the society are in the process of writing to the health ministry to ask it to withdraw the poster since they fear it will do more harm than good to those diagnosed or suffering silently from depression For example a person with depression finds it difficult to wake up in the morning says Dr Anand Raju consultant psychiatrist in Vishakhapatnam Instead of recognizing this as a symptom of the disease the person's family may blame him for not trying hard enough to wake up on time as a way to cope with the disease Dr Hari Shetty from Mumbai has also written to health minister JP Nadda protesting the poster He says it has trivialized depression and after reading the poster people on treatment may just stop taking medicines and instead follow the advice of the government on eating fruit and doing yoga. Doctors are also aghast at the mention of multivitamins helping to treat depression. Doctors say there is no scientific evidence that multivitamins can treat depression. There is good reason why the health ministry's ill-advised communique is scary. India is staring at a mental health epidemic. and the nodal ministry for policy making it would appear doesn't know what depression is here's a reminder from president ramnath kovind of the cold numbers that tell the story acknowledging that india is staring at a mental health epidemic president ramnath kovind said the biggest obstacle that mental health patients face is encountering stigma and denial the number of indians suffering from a mental health problem is larger than the entire population of japan we need to talk about mental health issues and treat ailments such as depression and stress as diseases that can be cured not as guilty secrets to be pushed under the carpet citing figures from the national mental health survey 2016 president kovin said around 14% of the people in the country require mental health interventions about 2% suffered from severe mental disorders the challenge he admitted was that there is a severe shortage of professional help there are only about 5000 psychiatrists and less than 2000 clinical psychologists in india an india spend report earlier this year analyzing healthcare spending underscores the near irrelevance of mental health for policy makers allocation to the national program for mental health has been stagnant for the past 3 years At 35 crore rupees the program received 0.07% of India's 2017-18 health budget. The budget allocation for 2018 for the National Mental Health Program saw an insignificant increase of 15 crore rupees. Let's look at a comparison. India spends up to 0.06% of its health budget on mental health care. This is less than Bangladesh. Most developed nations spend above 4% of their budgets on mental health research infrastructure. frameworks and talent pool this is despite the fact that an estimated 10 to 20 million indians suffer from severe mental disorders such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder nearly 50 million almost equal to the population of south africa suffer from common mental disorders such as depression and anxiety Every monsoon, Mumbaiers brace themselves for news of building collapses. When a charter plane came crashing down in the suburb of Ghatkopar post noon on Thursday, several people at a distance said it sounded like a dilapidated building was giving way. Pura ekdam aisa heel gaya ke ekdam pura abhi bhi sari mein jo nikal nahi raha hai. Mera aur ladke ka aur hamara ke jaad sa dekh raha hai. Koi to dukan wala wo sab log bol raha hai. Tum log bach gaya. Samne hum dekha. जैसे तुम्हारा गाड़ी निकला और ये गिरा ऊपर है द किंग एयर सी 90 चार्टर एयरक्राफ्ट क्रैश्ड इनटू द कंपाउंड ऑफ एन अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन बिल्डिंग किलिंग ऑल फोर ऑन बोर्ड एंड वन पर्सन ऑन द ग्राउंड द एयरक्राफ्ट हैड टेकन ऑफ फ्रॉम जुहू एयरपोर्ट फॉर अ टेस्ट फ्लाइट एंड फाइनली रिमेंबर एब्सकोंडिंग अक्यूज्ड बिलेने मेहुल चोक्सी Uncle of billionaire fugitive Nirav Modi who allegedly defrauded Punjab National Bank of thousands of crores. Well, Choksi has sought the cancellation of the two non-bailable arrest warrants against him and said he cannot travel to India because he fears for his life given what he said was quote the recent trend of mob lynching in India. The privileged billionaire not only trivialized the deaths due to mob lynchings recently He also claimed he could potentially be attacked by these groups. Employees, 
whose salaries haven't been paid, families of employees who have been arrested, landlords, creditors and customers whose jewellery has been confiscated. That's all for this week. Miss us. We'll see you again on Monday.